So let us discuss about new newly introduced microservices architecture in Oracle Golden Gate 12C R3. So Oracle introduced microservices architecture or 12C R3 version in a, in August 2017, and it is becoming popular nowadays. So in August 2017, Oracle re released two architectures for Oracle Golden Gate, classic architecture and microservices architecture. Classic architecture is the existing one. Now they have introduced the microservices architecture. So what happens in micro? So there is no there is no possibility to upgrade classic architecture to microservices architecture. If you want to use microservices architecture, you have to do fresh install and migrate to the architecture. It is the only right now they haven't introduced any way wherein you can upgrade it. So basically, how does microservices architecture works is you have a GUI available. So you connect to the Golden Gate using these APIs. And then you have a complete GUI based model available now, wherein you can configure, monitor, manage Oracle Golden Gate using web based user interface. So there are five important components available with microservices architecture, administration server. So if, if we want to link ourselves to the previous version where we were working, so administration server it is used for configuring the golden gate processes whatever processes we configure those configuration of processes is done by the administration server you create extract you create replicate you create parameter files all this is done in administration server service manager helps in providing the services basically it sits on top of your administration server receiver server it collects the changes from which are being sent over the network, those transactions or I should say it acts kind of as a collector process. So it receives the changes which are sent over TCP IP network to the target. Distribution server, you define the local trail path. So distribution server you can consider as it distributes the data over TCP IP network. So whatever was being done by pump, you configure data pump process in pump, you define the trail path, you define everything in the distribution server. Performance metrics server. Now this is one of the important addition now. So in service manager, you can see the report files, etc. means whatever service related, you have to see the lag you can see in the service manager. So administration, you configure service, you provide the services for the processes, whatever you have configured. Performance metrics, what it does is you collect the performance of the processes like Previously, we are doing stats, whatever statistics we have to see, how Golden Gate performance is, how many transactions per second. So all this you can see in performance metric server. All this now is available as a GUI. The good thing is all this is available as a GUI, web-based user interface. So everything is connected using APIs and then you have everything on your screen. So client and GG employment. So admin client now another thing is you'll see over here is admin client so how do you connect to golden gate using earlier means from till, not earlier i should say but from even in 12 cr how do you how do you connect to golden gate using golden gate ggsci prompt right so admin client does the same part in microservices architecture so to connect to golden gate you use admin client now you now using admin client you connect to the distribution so apis makes your connection to the distribution server see trail files then performance metrics server administration server service manager and receiver server so receiver server so this is how your data flow goes so distribution server distributes the trail file then here extract process provides the trail file to distribution server and here receiver server provides the trail file for replicate to replicate and you have source and target databases over here. So this is how it is going. The flow is the flow is going like this if you are getting confused. So this is source database, extract process is capturing, then writing to trail file, distribution server is sending to the receiver server. There are multiple servers configured. So here administration server, you configure the process. You have option to see the performance. You can see if any process goes down, whatever the issue is, you can see at service manager. And then receiver server receives it, writes the data to remote trail, and then replicate process applies to the 
target database. So how the communication happens using REST API. You have JSON available, JavaScript object notation. This all is internal. Then security. So security aspect has also been robust now. User authentication is available. Two-way SSL certificates. It was already part, but now they have the secure. See, organization or clients are more worried about their security, data security. Then service manager and receiver server. So administration server, administer, supervise, manage processes, configuration of parameter files. It is central control unity. So a con control entity for managing replication as com and components. So as I mentioned, you can administrate, administer, supervise, manage the process, configure, etc. It provides REST interface for admin clients and client using Perl and Python. I'll take this opportunity to, to ask one question from you, Ashish. Shalini is asking, how is MA different from Veridata? So or MA, pass, no. okay, okay. So you are now, uh, Shalini, you are now con comparing Apple with Orange. Veridata is, Veridata is a product which sits on top of Golden Gate and microservices is part of Golden Gate. So both are completely different. Veridata is a product which is used to check the count of tables. You check the data integrity using Veridata. And microservices is an inbuilt architecture of Oracle Golden Gate now. Thanks, uh, Ashish. So service manager, it is watchdog for other services. You can manage one or more Golden Gate deployments on local host. So you can start stop instances using service manager. We call these as a deployments. So you can call your query your deployments. You can query manage other services. So this is how your service manager looks like now. So service manager, it's a GUI. You log in using hostname, provide the ports, everything port, etc. You you provide during installation, and then this is your service manager looks like. Then receiver server, it handles all incoming trail, works with distributing distribution server as shown. You can see the diagram. It very much clarifies everything for you. It provides compatibility with pump process and classic architecture. Now distribution server, it distributes the data over the network. So it replaces classical data pump. It is It replaces classical data pump, but the work of this distribution server is almost same, but you have to configure it with some consideration. Performance metric server uses metric service to collect and store instance deployment performance result. You can use performance metric server in both microservice and classic architecture as well. You can see error logs. You can view active process status, integrate third party metrics tool as well. So this is how this is the roadmap to microservice architecture. Install microservice architecture, start service manager, start servers and start your admin client. So this is how you can introduce or you can start your journey to the microservices architecture. However, yeah, configuration is very important. So once your configuration is done, your journey to the microservices architecture could be started.